Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy, this is Happiness Created. I have a really great video to share with you today, so let's jump into it. So for this first project, I have one of these star wreath forms that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I have this cord ribbon uh, that was sent to me from BB Crafts, so it was actually free. So I am taking this cording and I am just going to wrap it around all of the different parts of this star. Now once the star is wrapped, I'm just going to take another piece of that cording and I'm just gonna tie a knot at the end and then hot glue it to the back just to make sure because the cording is kind of slippery and I didn't want the knot to come out. So that's what I decided to do. <laughs> and then I'm going to take another piece of that cording and I am going to just kind of measure out a piece and cut it off and then I'm separating the three pieces in the cording itself and that's what I'm going to use to hang my jingle bells from. And now I'm just going to take a couple rolls of the Dollar Tree uh, ribbon and I am going to attempt to make a bow. For those of you who have watched me long enough, you know that uh, they are definitely not my uh, thing. <laughs> so anyway, um, I do the best I can and um, they usually turn out okay. So here I'm just going to, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna put it at the top or more towards the center and I did end up choosing towards the center. And yeah, so I just kind of glue that right into place and then I'm gonna fluff it all up and I'm going to dovetail the ends as well. And then because I only used the red and the silver, I decided that I would take a green one and just glue it right to the center of the bow. And that is pretty much it. I think it came out so pretty for a grand total of about three bucks. I love this thing. You guys will have to let me know what you think.
So for this next project, I have the snowman wreath form, and I am going to take some of this black, the chenille ribbon, I know it's not ribbon, yarn, thank you. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to take some of this black yarn and I'm going to go around the entire hat with this black. And now I'm going to take one of those white chamois cloth things from Dollar Tree in the automotive section. And I'm just cutting it into like inch, inch and a half wide strips. And then I am just cutting off the, like the edging. Um, because obviously it's not on all of the pieces and then I'm just going to start wrapping this little snowman in this white cloth. And let me tell you, that, that cloth sheds like crazy, just so you know. So anyways, then I'm going to take some of this gray yarn that I have, and I'm going to go around the sticks or hands or arms or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to cover them with this gray yarn. And now I'm just going to take some of the black and white buffalo check ribbon that I have and I'm going to use that as his scarf. And then I have this pick that I had in a different um, arrangement that I had years ago because uh, we never throw anything away, right? 
So I'm just going to, it had like brown paper on the bottom holding it together. I didn't like it. I took it off and I'm just wrapping that gray um, yarn. I don't know why I can't remember that. And I am going to just kind of cover the ends and hold it all together. And then I'm just going to hot glue it right to his little hat. And that's it for him. How adorable is he? I think he's so, so cute. I love this thing so much. I can't wait to hang it up on my door. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So this video is part of the 5 Under 5 DIY Challenge hosted by Missy at Crafty Cove and Emily at Farm Charm Chic and co-hosted by Connie at Connie's Creative Creations. You all need to go see these ladies. They're all truly amazing. I will have all of the links to their channels in the description box down below. So for this next project, I'm taking one of these shadow boxes from the Dollar Tree. It's supposed to be like a bank. Um, and I am just going to pop the back out and I was going to try to rip the paper off, but I decided it wasn't worth it. So, so now I'm just taking a razor blade and I am scraping off the wording that was on there. And I'm just going to clean the glass real quick. And then I found um, some music paper for Jingle Bell Rock. I love that song. It's one of my favorite Christmas carols, Christmas songs. And so I decided to take some antique wax to it to make it look a little bit more weathered and older. And then I glued it with the glue stick to the back. And then I took some of the little tiny jingle bells from the Dollar Tree and I put them inside and then closed it up. So now I am taking some of my vinyl that I cut with my Cricut and I wrote out the words Jingle Bell Rock and I'm just going to place that on the glass. Now I do have to go back and change the Jingle Bells to just all silver because you can't really see the rock part of it. So it looks just like jingle bell, like singular. <laughs> so anyways, I think if I do just all silver, it'll show up better. So now I'm taking more of the vinyl. I um, went into design space and I pulled up these jingle bell uh, pictures images and I just cut two of them out and placed them on the glass and then here I go again I'm going to try to make another bow for the top of this just mostly to hide that um, the slot for the coins so I'm taking some of the buffalo check and then I have um, the ribbon with the red truck on it and so I put those together just kind of looped them on themselves and did the bow that way it came out okay it's a little lopsided but anyway so here it is and so you can't really see the rock part of it but anyway I think it came out adorable and I think once I change the jingle bells it'll look even better let me know what you guys think so for this next project i am taking one of those chalkboards from the dollar tree 
and then one of my Chalk Couture transfers. If you don't know, I am a Chalk Couture designer and I will have my link tree down below with everything Chalk Couture in there. I just click on it, it'll bring you right to my site and they're having an amazing sale this whole month. They're doing Black Friday all month long. So go ahead and check it out. There's amazing deals, you won't even believe it. So I, here I am, I'm taking some of the chalk. I used the um, current current jam, um, the pesto, and I'm using the um, shimmer frost. <laughs> Sorry, I had to think about that one. And I'm just kind of dabbing it on kind of here and there. And then I am going to take my multi tool, multi tool, which is what I have in my hand right now. And I'm just going to spread all of the paste onto the transfer. Of course, once that's done, then the magic happens. Ta-da! It's so beautiful. Wait till you see. So I'm taking this other one, which is just a tiny one, and I'm putting it in kind of in the center. I'm trying to center it anyway. <laughs> And then I'm going to take more of that shimmer frost and I'm going to go over it. It says joy to the world. I just love Christmas so much. I just think everything is so much better and brighter and happier and nicer. And I just love it. So anyways, the magic is about to happen. So I'm going to let you enjoy. So incredibly satisfying to pull that transfer off. So now I'm taking some of the greenery that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing it to the bottom corner. And then I had this burlap bow from Hobby Lobby and I just put that up at the top. I think this is so beautiful, all of the ornaments and then of course, joy to the world. Let me know what you guys think. And so for this last project, I am taking two of the door tag signs. They're the like mini ones from Dollar Tree. And I was originally going to try to peel the paper off, was not cooperating. So I just sanded off all of the glitter and there's my little ladybug vacuum i will have that in my description box down below so i am going to take some of the white waverly chalk paint and i just give it one coat just to kind of cover up the um all the color and now i am just taking some mod podge and i'm going to go over both of the tags and i'm going to place some fabric on both of them So then I just trimmed down all of the fabric and then I'm going to go back in with the Mod Podge and uh, just kind of tack down whatever edges are sort of lifted up a little bit. 
and then I'm just going to stack them on each other well one on the other and I'm going to hot glue them to each other And then I'm just taking one of the ribbons that actually came on it, on one of them, and I'm just making um, a knot and I'm just going to hot glue it to the back of this and we'll use that as the hanger. And that is it. How adorable is this? I didn't even have to like decorate it because the red truck is just perfect and there's really not a whole lot you can do with it so i left it as is so i hope that you all enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up if you're over from the playlist and new to my channel welcome i really hope you consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a video and share 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 with your family and friends and i will see you next time bye